up to. What do you do, baby? It's your boy, Quattro. That was impressive. What's good, everybody? This is Nua. DJ Nua. And what up, y'all boys? It is your boy, Kid Kev. Bro, you off the cast, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> it's your boy, Slick Rob. No introduction needed. Let's get it. And guys, this is a, a monumental moment for the podcast. And it's been actually been a big month. We had we hit our 60th episode this month. And this is our first uh, numero uno YouTube video, man. Our, yes. Clap it up for that. Clap it up. Yes. Oh, yeah, we yeah. ain't even bro, we have a guest today, y'all boys. I, I'm sorry. This is our our collective, Shanua, uh my bad, DJ Nua, Kid Kevin, and Quatra. This is our collective nephew, Robert's uh nephew. Actually, it was everybody's nephew. Like, uh, the way you uh, mentioned me first, like it was my kid. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this, 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 this is our nephew. This is our nephew, Tata. Everybody say, what's up, Tata? Hey, what's, what's up, Tata? What's up, Tata? What's up, Tata? And, you know, he could not sit still because he, of course, is a child. Now and he, he wants to. Now he want to act, act right. But um, camera on him, that's what it is. Right, but he's here chilling with us. He's going to be on the cage. Not going to say nothing. But, you know, he's going to be here just to be cute. He's like our own little baby Yoda. Or, I'm sorry, Grogu. Oh. Grogu, spoilers for the Mandalorian. But like I said, guys, this is our first YouTube video, and today we're gonna to be talking about Christmas, all the things that matter to us about Christmas. But first, let me do this. If you listen to the podcast, you'll have to do this, this little bit of business at the top. Actually, actually, what podcast is this? You know what I'm My bad. If you don't recognize these four beautiful voices, this is the YouTube channel of the podcast cafeteria talk available everywhere you find your podcast um features us for talking about any and everything just like the days at the table hanging with your boys your girls and all the homies just like the days back when you were in school just chilling we got food now we do have food we usually have food when we record it but y'all can't really see that but yeah you know we chilling so John John Moore doesn't like the feedback for the camera first off i'll be the main one bringing food so you're gonna hear my ASMR today. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. And cafeteria talk ASMR edition. Right. Yeah. Right. On me. But let me ask y'all this real quick before we get into it. How's everybody doing? I'm doing I'm doing really good. Doing really good. Um, you are, Christmas sure. coming up, you know, I just did a little bit of shopping today for my girlfriend. Got her something really nice. Nice. Thank you, got her. Uh, thank you, Krampus. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, I, was, I thought I could catch you laughing, but you know. Krampus, you know, I, I just have to know, bro. What's up with this hat? I just need to know. You know what? Let me be great. I'm not uh, letting you be great. Can I be great? Can I be great? I'm just I, saying that hat is, is something different. I just, you know, it's different. I mean, if you look at it, right? We it's, got it's, two, we got Santa hats right. on this side. We got a turkey hat, and then we got turkey hair right here. So, wow, okay. So, you right, you right. I mean, yeah, mom. <laughs> As we continue on. Oh, mm -hmm. me, that was cold. I mean, yeah, she got she got better dress than you, so. I, mm. <laughs> hey, my mom rocking the natural hair right now, but still, <laughs> right? Yeah. Black y'all y'all are terrible. So let me let me let me I do this. Nothing. Let me do this. Um, I have some topics that I that I brought with me today that we're gonna discuss. Kind of keep us organized. You know, I like to stay organized. But wait, we do that business I was telling y'all about. Yeah, because you forgot about that. You know, you cut me off and I forgot. Thank you. Because you missed something else. All right, you asshole. <laughs> All ladies, are you later? Just get to the business. Right. I'm trying to get to the business. You can follow us at Cafeteria Talk on Instagram at Cafeteria Talk Official. You can follow us on Twitter at Cafeteria Talk. And if you happen to listen listen to us the podcast on uh fuck. I said, <laughs> I said that's the only that's the only way it could happen. Like, bro, have you read Ender's Game? I watched the movie. Yeah, read the book. Okay. Only read read the book. That book's thick. I'm not trying. To but that book is like 200 pages. The only thing I like thick is my women. So. On me, that's why I can do it. No, you do We can go on the whole time. I'm to We ain't going to play like that. Let's go. 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 Let's
be honest with my credit card be cut off. No, it's hey. rude. Hey, that's what, what, that's what, what a dope ass answer. What a dope ass answer. Oh, and then another thing. I want me some good. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going with that, my girl? He was like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can't say you're wrong, but like, you don't really just say that out loud. Wow. Like, what? Yo, they, oh, oh, okay, okay. I want me some good, fresh baked cookies, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your mind went there, we all went there. So you know, uh, turn it over, don't see my child. You let me finish. See the cookies, see, they shape like donuts, they got lovely. Alright, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, you know, credit card paid off with some lovely cookies, you know what I'm saying? True, true. And if it's a woman that wants to supply the cookies, you know, he said, we ain't gonna deny that either. Okay, next motion. The number one thing I want for Christmas is a Sabrina INS2 jersey. Next thing, <laughs> I just want some graphic tees, a new Xbox, and a PS5. Really? You want? Uh, I want both. You want both? I want Shazam on DVD. On me? And, I should've said a PS5. Um, I PS5. Chick fil A, McDonald's, and AMC gift cards. Uh, and I want some new shoes. Alright, that's not bad. And I want some new shoes. I mean, you better get a gift receipt with that INS New Jersey so you can return it. But you know, it's all right. Okay, next motion. What I want is, um, I, I do want a PS5, but I will buy that myself. I just want the accessories. Get me a dual, get me the dual sense controller, get me the media remote, and get me the charging station, and I will pay for the rest. Do you want the, the little, uh, handheld dildo thing they have to? Pause. Now you see, for me, I really don't want like, like a material possession or anything like that. I just want money, man. I just want money. Yeah, I'm not quite about that. That's just a material possession, Kevin. That, no, it's not. It really isn't. Like, just give me money or a gift card. I'm easy. Mm -hmm. I'm easy like that. Yes, you are easy, Kevin. I am easy. Credit <laughs> for all you females out there. <laughs> Sensational. Um, those are great Christmas gifts. You know, I hope you guys get all that. I ain't buying shit for you. You ain't getting. What is the greatest Christmas movie of all time? Home Alone. Damn it! You want to you want to back that up? Because it's a wrong answer, but you want to back that up? <laughs> well, you it's know what? Definitely the I, best Christmas. First off, I, I, I actually actually back that. Why? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I know for my mom, she loves that house because my mom likes she's in the houses and stuff like that. But she like loves that house, like how big it is and stuff like that. And also, bro, that little kid just done bunk those two grown adults like, bro, like, what, with what, household appliances, dog. What is more satisfying than seeing a child torture two adults? Bro, he Phineas and Ferb that jump before Phineas and Ferb was a thing. Legit. Hold up. Now, what I'm do you what, what do you say? What do you say? The greatest. Okay. Christmas film. All right. Of all time. Okay. It's funny. It's heartwarming. It's raunchy. It's what's his name? Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. You're losing credibility, man. I'm losing, losing your name. I'm losing his name. I lost no, name. No, you're losing credibility. That's what you're losing. I'm sorry. I just can't remember. It's oh my god. Oh, snap. He's going out like Nate Robinson. Wow. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> that is ass. I don't remember the actor's name. But the greatest Christmas movie of all time National Lampoon's Christmas oh, Vacation. Chevy Chase. Chase. The greatest Christmas film of all time. It's so funny. See, I can't really argue because I haven't seen it. I mean, I haven't either. What? You seen it, Rob? Not fully, but I've seen most of this. Bro, it is the number one. Like, we look forward to watching this at my house. The whole family. My dad absolutely loves it. It's it's hilarious. Like, you have to watch it. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. But, of course, can we talk about a few uh, few honorable mentions? Look, look, let my boy Rob get his picture. Oh, yeah. yeah. My favorite Christmas movie is definitely, my personally, the Polar Express. I can't. Okay. You know what? Some of the best songs do. I've actually ever heard bro, was out of the Polar Express. was ahead of his time for real. I'm saying 2005. It's Uncanny Valley now, but for the like, that's mo that's mo cap. Like that's ahead of its time. It was, and like just the. I mean, the story, the concept was a little, but the movie was so I good. Love it. The story is amazing. I love it. We got it. Ooh man. I, I, oh, well, well they were slick with it too. Those waiters were slick with it. Oh God, the most is broken. I can't go wrong with Polar Express. Santa's just too skinny in that movie. Me, he it bothered me. I was like, Santa Claus is not supposed to be skinny. I don't like this. No. Oh yeah, he was definitely he skinny. Was skinny yeah. But final topic. Oh damn. What is the true meaning of Christmas? Presence. Okay, well you know what? Me and Rob will have a similar answer. Oh. Okay. Very I similar. guess I'm not a Christian. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh no. It, it ain't gonna nah, be. Nah. No. I don't want to no, hear. It ain't gonna be about what Constantine declared. 
Alright, so, um, I'll go. Right, um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Simple answer. Jesus Christ, his birth, we celebrate it. You right. know, Jesus is the reason he came to save the world. Amen. And then the, you know, the, the pagan answer. Um, Christmas is about family. You know, hanging around with, with your family, opening gifts, you know, being cool, just being merry. Merry Christmas. You know, sitting with your friends, your boys. Your boys. <laughs> your children. Did anybody <laughs> tell us you that uh, slight damn. shame? Bro, that was uh, a slight shame, bro. It went it's dark. No, but I just, I didn't want to mess up Kevin's hat. <laughs> so I just yeah, made sure that I was you too, me. dog. No, bro. Oh, hey, hey, we just, fuck your shit. Don't touch me now. Don't touch me now. Hey, whoa, hey. You fuck it up like that too quick, bro. You're making me mad. Oh, we we didn't go out the table right now. Hey, you remember that episode of Boondocks? Like, uh, Reverend Rollo Goodlove, and he talked to that white dude. He was like, hey, you know what? You make me nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> yes, of course, we like to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We like to celebrate family. But Woke Noah is coming out. Now, no one, Woke Noah ain't that woke, but he just knows a lot of shit and don't, don't really care sometimes. But there's history. Uh, if you don't know, Christmas used to be pagan. Constantine decided that we're going to make everything about Jesus, they think about Christian. We celebrated the exact same holidays at the exact same time. We just changed the meaning. So, one, you want to say that black people celebrating Kwanzaa is pagan? White people, you're doing the same thing. Speak it. But hey, Jesus is definitely the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes, he is. Sit the fuck down. But Slick Rob, what's the true meaning of Christmas? Definitely like like you know what he said. You know, mm -hmm. we, we are still on that. It technically is a pagan holiday, but technically, do not let it dismiss you from the reason behind it. The sit the, the savior of the world Come was on, born. Oh and we gonna speak it into existence. <laughs> oh Ooh, that preacher coming out! It's in existence, but yeah. Hold up. I'm but y'all not gonna deny only on Christmas. Y'all gonna celebrate all year long, hey! oh, okay? Oh. Can I just yeah. somebody? Yeah. Not on Christmas, not on Easter. But thank you. We don't need no 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 seeing me Christian. It's Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't need no Xmas. We gonna keep the Christ at yeah. Christmas. Whoa. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Thank you. I thank wish you. I had somebody. Thank you, Rodney. Ah, oh, man, that was fun. We gotta do this again. We Actually, do. we will be doing this again. We definitely will. We're gonna be dropping one of these videos yeah. once a month. I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah baby. But um, thank you guys so much for bearing with us, man. If you've been listening to the podcast, thank you for listening to us for sixty. Did it stop recording? It's dying. Oh, well, is, is it dead? It's boxing. It's blinking red. Oh God, let's go. Let's hurry up. We wrapping it up now. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the whole uh, conclusion. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys, if you've been listening to the podcast, for listening up to 60 episodes. And keep on listening until 120. And whatever 120 is plus 60. I don't know. Or tell whoever that drops first. When they don't yeah, you know. Yeah. So, you know, guys, thank you for listening. Thank you guys for being here. I love doing this with you guys. Um, Y'all about to make me cry. I love you so much, Seth Kevin. He sucks. But you can find me on all platforms. I'm just kidding. I, we'll go into that though. Where, where can they find you guys? You guys can find me kid.kev17 on Instagram. I'm probably in it. Slick, but obviously, underscore Rob to be his underscore on Instagram. You guys can find me at DJ underscore Nua on Instagram. And you know what? Follow me on TikTok too, even though this nigga's kind of get famous. I'm sure. saying you ain't mentioning your TikTok. Are you hey, taking my This is move. This is like move, man. I'm not no influencer. I swear to God, I'll kick you to the next curb. You call me an influencer. I swear to God, I'll slap him. I'll slap whoever I can if they call me an influencer. Are oh, you an influencer? I don't Put your answer, man. I dare you. I dare you. Right. I'll stick you off camera. camera. I got y'all off camera. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> next episode. You can find me on Instagram at Quattro IB with the period between the C and the U. So, su C period A U T R O I V. You can catch me on Twitter at RedClear317. And if you happen to be an artist and you like art, you go know, check my art page out. Quattro IB. Merry Christmas. Wait, jingle bells all the way. Hey. On your heels, y'all make that shake. Got about three hoes on my sleigh. I'm trying to tee up your head.